But okay, enough about that. Let's move on to what everybody's waiting for, speaking of my dad. So I'm not ready. I, I'm not sure I know I'm ready for this. The elderlies. So the backstory here, of course, is that everyone had this bright idea with Jimmy Lee being, you know, the character he is. We says, let's see what happens when my dad meets Jimmy Lee. Now, how long did we film for, Ian? It was like, must have been like three hours, right? Uh, yeah, around there. Yeah, something like that. So we had games prepared for them, quizzes, tests, and a surprise call, which will shock you. That's in this edit, right, Cam? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> I've fallen, and I can't get up. I'm nervous to show this, guys. I'll be honest. <laughs> so they came. This is a 10-minute edit of the three hours. Like I said, the two, full two-hour unabridged version, director's cut, is on for members. Or will be, to be clear. Or, or will be, okay. Yeah. And so I don't know. What was the experience like for you guys? Because at one moment I had to step out to do the first week feast. I was there in the beginning and end. Do you guys want to put some context to this? I... Somebody else is probably. Uh, Listen, I, I, I have to come clean. Jimmy Lee is my kryptonite, man. I, I, I can't, I can't with that man. I really, really? can't. And I mean, I know he knows that because every time he sees me, he's like, "Oh, this guy hates me, doesn't he?" And I have to be like, "No," but it's not really so much hate Jimmy as much as like I can't be in the same room as you for longer than like two minutes. Like, you're just. You're just a singularity of cringe for me. Like, and and I, I have a high tolerance for cringe, but I don't know. It's just something about Jimmy yeah. is just really. It was it was nice meeting. It's brutal. It was brutal. It was, oh yeah, his kids were there. Yeah, it was nice meeting. His kids them. were really nice. Super yeah. totally well, enormous. very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. No, he's an enigma. I don't know. I uh, I don't. I it's got to all be the the mother. As far yeah, as she like, must be. A, he yeah. says she's a saint. Everybody yeah. 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 and I and I absolutely believe it. And. Yeah, again, it's not it's not that I hate the man. I, I do think he has a good heart, but it's just the the just giga level of unawareness that he possesses mm. is just it's kryptonite yeah. to me. Like I just can't. Well we gotta Cam and I have to deal with it <laughs> when we go home because he texts us still yeah. uh, uh thirty times a day the same fucking picture that we've seen a million times. Yeah, he was trying to get my phone number. I said absolutely not. You will never get my phone <laughs> number, Jimmy. And he just he spams us and it's just getting to a point where it's it's very frustrating. No, I mean I I don't mind talking to him when he's out of character as much, but you know he does he does send a lot to us. He's always and on I though. I just ignore a lot of. Yeah. No, I mean when he when he was when the cameras were off and he was over here talking to his family, he was a nice he was a nice right. very nice. Yeah, host. personally I like him, but I like it. it yeah, it is, it is a lot. I had to walk away, and I have to commend Ian for really like taking charge with this segment because I, I a few of us. Just kind of deal with it. I don't think we need to keep leaving in different uh, at different times. Yeah. The, my my problem with Jimmy at this point is that we invested a lot in this whole redemption arc for Jimmy. People said it couldn't be done, and yet should have listened. <laughs> and that yet we did. We did. We tried. And there was a moment where he was redeemed. It did seem that way. And we were all on board with the Jimmy train. And then he posts this video what? on Instagram, that and a bunch of other stuff. And he goes, this was kind of the, a big factor in this video where he says, I, can I say the M word? Is that, I can say it in context of it, this, right? What? Of the little people slur. Oh, the M word. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I could say that, right? He goes, he goes, I, man, I hate midgets. He has this whole bit. And we're like, Jimmy, you can't, say that word you have to say little people and also just don't look it's just a weird thing bro like i hate midgets man well the other thing is i think he's adapted a little bit of an ego now right he's big time right uh so it's a lot <laughs> on top of his histrionic uh personality disorder as he would say so anyway um 
we tried to confront him on that, and like the whole thing was like, dude, there's certain brands of comedy you just have to stop doing. And you know, everyone thought I said N word. No, 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 no. Back it up. I was that M M M M M Mike Michael Michael Mega Marshall Mathers. Yes. M M and M. Yes. So, um, y'all thought I was about to drop that N bomb, huh? Well, I just misheard you. After we barely survived the weekend, if you guys know what I mean. Yeah. I didn't even want to say anymore. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's, but if yeah. you know, you know. I'm just happy to be here, guys. <laughs> I'm the. <laughs> so funny. He goes, I, th I, everyone, everyone heard the N word. Thank you, Carlos. That's <laughs> Is that Carlos. You emphasizing right? the mm yeah. sound. Okay, got it. <laughs> How did you? identify that so i can really. i know it's carlos just from that one like yeah, no, me too. split second <laughs> and you know the problem is that we really thought we were making progress and then he just busts down the door with like just super offensive stuff and it's like jimmy i just don't know i don't know if we can do it dude he walked in uh making a uh, uncomfortable joke what did he say uh, it was towards Lena, right, A.B.? Wait, what? What did he say, Lena? <laughs> Lena, what did he tell you? I forget. He asked if I'm Arab, and I said yes, and he put his hands up like that. Okay, he goes, don't shoot. Oh, he goes, that's, he a, goes, that's a classic. He that's said, a don't shoot. And then yeah. he, he does that to any minority. And then he says, <laughs> he said something about Sam, too. What did he... Wait, was, what did he, Oh. He just asked if I'd ever heard of the sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all, that's all classic, <laughs> Jimmy. Because <laughs> I'm pale? I don't know. <laughs> There's no turning him off. Were, were you offended by that, Lena? No, I... I yeah. It was expected. <laughs> yeah, you expect. <laughs> kind of expect that harassment when Jimmy's around. <laughs> but he, that's kind of a... That's a funny bit, because he literally says that to any minority. It's like, bro, think about what you're actually saying. Every minority's a criminal. Hey, don't rob me. What are you, Mexican? Hey! Don't shoot! <laughs> <laughs> and then his thing is a uh, son's bitch. It's son's bitch. I hate midgets, man. Them sons of bitches. Sons of bitch. Sons bitch. Sons I, bitch. I think he was making progress after we talked to him. Yes. And then he started on Cameo and started to get more people who probably were encouraging him to mm. make distasteful jokes about their friends. And then right. he's like, oh, people love this shit. I'm going back yeah. to the Don Rickles the, the, style. The off the rails he called in the first time in the restaurant, that was gold. That was fantastic. He wasn't offending anyone. So funny. It was, it was great. And then it just kind of went downhill from there. I think you're onto something, AB. And also, he's getting lots of DMs with people like, tell me a joke. And yeah. And they get posted to the subreddit. Right. Ugh. So, I don't know. What do you, you guys tell me? We'll have to take a poll. Let's do a poll right now and then after this segment. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like Jimmy Lee? Yes or no? Right? Just simple. And my poor dad, man. I hope he I hope he got out of this, okay? I thought my dad For the most part he was fine. It was all all Jimmy. Okay. okay. It's just again there there is a moment. And unfortunately it might be the worst moment. It was bad. I remember. Thing. It was <laughs> bad. It was so bad. Do you like Jimmy Lee? Yes. No. I, I think your dad looked at it more of like he was a guest here and he was hosting him and was trying to make him feel comfortable at different points. Well, I'll be honest, we hit him with a, uh, don't I don't it. know if it's a gotcha, but it was what? what did I do? That wasn't me, I don't know. They said don't spoil it. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm giving context. They're right, though. Like, it's better if it just happens. I'm voting yes, even though, you know. It's very split. We're at 50, about 50-50. Okay, so there you go. The majority are saying yes. So, Jimmy, that's pretty good. 51% saying yes. I mean, that's, that's powerful stuff. Okay. Powerful stuff. So let's watch this, and then we'll do a poll afterwards and see if it, if it moved any minds here. I guess let me end the poll because I don't want people voting during this. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. We want to keep this pure. All right, guys. Without further ado... It's The Elderlies, starring Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, and Gary Klein. Here we go. Hey, Gary, Jimmy Lee, very nice to meet you. Gary Klein, I am Ethan's father. 
Great to meet you. Very nice to meet you. We're going to have to, you know, go in to do the hair makeup, get the hairline right, the makeup right. Little powder, little paint makes me what I ain't. Okay. How about you joining in and doing it with me? That'd be great. I don't need help with the hairline, okay. but the rest of the stuff definitely uh, I could use. So let's let's do it. Okay, let's go. The viewing gears in about two hours for both of us. Okay. No pain they yet. Throw dirt on you Tuesday. They bury me Wednesday. I, I actually did some research on you because I I, I couldn't actually believe. You were a dentist, and it's not going to come as a surprise to you, but you are actually a dentist. With I three, wasn't aware. I was practices. I was aware I had histrionic personality disorder, <laughs> but I wasn't aware I was a dentist. The first of Do many. you know, Gary, what histrionic personality disorder is? Well, I could probably make a good guess. Uh, you tend to be histrionic all the time. Gary, you look marvelous. It looks just like you. Well, thank you. I <laughs> feel at least six months younger now. Three. Al. Two. <laughs> One. Jimmy, do you not know the numbers? Three, two, one. There we go. One, two, three. No! Oh my God. Olivia! <laughs> I knew not to let you do my hairline. I'm about to lose all my gray. I want Gary non-gray for this episode. Olivia, no, no lower. Well, I'm going to hold it. Is it even right now? That's it, Olivia. Uh, oh. Oh! Thank you. Woo! <laughs> all right. Oh! No, Ethan! It's pretty good. So hold on. It's too low. Well, thank you. Dan, it's too low. Gary's Gary's not gray anymore. Gary. Gary looks fucking I look horrible. like I have something on my head. I'm not sure what it is. Welcome, everybody, to The Elderlies, starring Gary Klein and Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Two of the great comedic minds, uh, comedy titans, meet together at last. To get you guys acquainted, we have arranged a little game, pull one card, and it's going to explain. Make an assumption about me. I assume you're a dentist. I assume you're uh, someone with a great hairline. I assume you got a cool L.A. shirt just yes. to wear out here for the trip. Correct. And uh, I assume you're going to have a great time out here in Los Angeles. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Well, My wife's. Okay. So pleasant. <laughs> Think of something that you dislike that most people love. Zach's personality. Beach balls at a baseball game. Yes. Now, so now I want you guys to create a secret handshake together. Change. One, two, two three, three, and then four. And that's just Jimmy and Gary's handshake. <laughs> there is a house in New Orleans. Ooh. They call the rising sun. Taking care of business and working overtime. Zach, work out. Get that guitar, Zach. Ooh, the hair dye boy. is not affecting our memory. The hair yet. dye is not <laughs> affecting our memory. Under the laptop in front of Gary are instructions on how to open the show document. Hey, Kolb, go get my readers. I'll help Gary. I can't see. My I'm readers. fallen, and I can't get up. That's Adobe, Gary. Hey. Hello. All right. Now what do we do? By the way, start the how how long did it take them to get logged in? I think it was like, Cam, do you, was it like ten minutes? Uh, hold on, I'll look. Maybe longer. Yeah, I mean, all they had to do was the both of them together had to log into a Gmail account and open a doc. Yeah, which which they, is great because my dad was specifically making fun of my mom when she couldn't, you know, do that test. True. And there was the two of them. My dad goes when I saw him the week. He goes, "Dude, it's like you know, I just I'm not used to the Chromebooks. You know, it really threw me off." I was like, "Oh, please." <laughs> I just love how they ended up on Adobe. <laughs> and on the yeah. Adobe website somehow. Yeah. Anyway. So well, far, was, so good, right? Uh, yeah, it's going great. What could possibly go wrong? So far, so minutes? good. Everyone's having a good time. Here we go. Go. Uh, Zach, I love you. I love you more. You like my hairline, Zach? It's fantastic, Jimmy. It's receding like my jokes. Hey. But Gary, I'll say to you, I hope you jump on your bike and there's no seat. And that could hurt a mother. No, Danny's not going to hurt his mother. Just take a Viagra and chill.
Okay. Gary, today you finally found the rabbi and you said, I'll join him, and you went and became a Jew. Wonderful to meet you. <laughs> Jimmy, I got to ask. So you said that your issue with people these days is that they're a little too sensitive. Is that what you said? Yes. We've prepared a little something. Listen, you're shrinking. Did you take Preparation H? I hate fucking midgets, man. I don't want anybody sniffing around my fly unless they're serious. <laughs> yeah, I need to confront you on something, okay? I know which one it was. Which one? I don't like midgets, Ethan. I'm oh, sorry. I can't stop hide it. my feel. Don't get mad. I just never liked them. <laughs> The word midgets is very offensive, okay? We don't use that word anymore. I thought funny. it was a pretty good joke. Jolly Roger liked it. Pretty funny. Yeah. It's just an old style joke. That's sure, really sure, what it was. Sure. What'd you think of that, Gary? All right, so <laughs> we're basically we planned the intervention for the for the whole midget thing. And I was expecting my dad, you know, to kind of Ride for the social issue. He thought that was a highlight reel. He's clapping, so. <laughs> uh, just praise yourself, guys. Go easy on my dad, please. Some classic offensive humor. I, I think it's very clever and very smart because if you're going to go after a my minority new group, who is less apt to hurt you than midgets yeah. or little people, right? You what make fun of other groups. They have big serious threatening people not midgets what are they going to do come up and kick you in the knee or something that's uh okay i'm really glad you said that gary because <laughs> yeah. we actually okay so clearly he <laughs> failed he failed the test but actually the worst part is guys uh what comes next and boy just notice their fate i mean i and in the role of a lifetime gary all right, I'm just going to play it. Everybody, tighten your sphincter. <laughs> actually have a little person on the call. They've been listening. And so Dan is going to bring them in right now, and we can sort of open a dialogue here. <laughs> okay. So this is Aubrey. <laughs> So far, so good. <laughs> Gary, uh, Gary, uh, Gary. Uh, Hello, Aubrey. Hi, Gary. How, How are you, you doing? How you doing, kid? Yeah, love you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Even though you think I would come up and kick you in the shins. Well, oh. I have pretty low shins, too, so... Yes. And you, you guys are both pretty short, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be coming out to our community. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, Aubrey, a comedian who wrote to us uh, a few weeks ago. They posted on the subreddit, actually. Uh, so he posted on the subreddit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. And he was saying that, you know, he could talk to us about this whole Jimmy Lee midget arc. Right. Little people arc. And so we had planned this call in, and the setup was just really, really rough, man. <laughs> Uh, but here it goes. Let's see if, if in the, either of them are going to learn anything. Let's see. Shout out Aubrey, by the way. Shout out. Oh, yeah. Here's the post. Maybe Many of you may have seen it. It says, Ethan, I'm an actor with dwarfism. I'm currently making a documentary comedy series special about a disability hate group on YouTube that's been cyberbullying me for over a year named Jimmy Lee. <laughs> right. Just kidding. I would love to call in tomorrow during the tippy toes segment and chat about Jimmy's. Oh right, the post was actually about the tip. Right, thing. which, which then, as you guys know, we we knew we had this Jimmy thing planned, and so it ended up working out for that. He says, "I want to chat about Jimmy's little people phobia and do some dwarfism representation." So, we we knew we wanted to get him on the show. This is him, legend, and uh, this is this is what we did. And I'm so sorry. To him, of course. Yeah, to him. But let's see. Does he break through? Let's see. Um, Jimmy, the comments that you made, you weren't really serious. Like, you're not actually, you don't actually dislike little people, right? This is a an act. It's exactly, a, it's an act. exactly. And I'm a loving, big-hearted, nice guy that does a comedy act, and I don't mean anything I say. No, it's Jimmy just intended to laugh at ourselves, Aubrey. That's all it is. Right. No, yeah, I am. I love how me, I, <laughs> I love how Jimmy's thing is always. We got to laugh at ourselves. It's like, you know, you're, who's ourselves? <laughs> you're consistently slamming other people only. 
I've been performing since in the entertainment industry, in the circus since I was four. Now I do stand-up comedy. I trust me, I was not offended. And I think I could tell it wasn't really a serious comment to me. No. Do you actually know any people with dwarfism? I you have know? patients. Okay, who are little people. But and I didn't do that joke on them, Aubrey, in the office, by the way. No, I know, Jim. <laughs> because I'm a dentist in the office, not the comedian. You do come from a very different generation where there was very different representations, obviously, of little people. Even medically speaking, doctors used to still use the word midget, even though there is no such thing as a midget. We are people with dwarfism, and there's hundreds of types of dwarfism. So my only question was just if you do know little people and you're not really scared of them, but do you see how maybe that would have like real-world implications? for a group that has no representation I that understand. is ever shown in a sexual or violent manner. Like, so I'm saying, even just as a comedian, I really just don't think that's the lane you want to go down. Okay, I got I you. Do you see how it's nothing about if I find it offensive? I understand. I don't think you're that person, but as someone who's literally making a movie right now about how YouTube allows people to follow us around who sometimes are minors and go around calling us all of these names, but that aren't even names that a reflective of a medical condition, literally just a slur. Like, I just figure that you are someone who doesn't actually hate little people. I and don't hate anybody. And um, Zach's been telling me to quit for years. I may have to take his advice. <laughs> I don't think you should quit, but I definitely think <laughs> you should realize that comedy can be sustained without literally using someone else as a punching bag. I and I think, you. what do you feel? You can be honest, Jenny. No, You're I have a, plenty of other jokes. I don't have to use the midget joke. Everyone can be joked about. I just think it's the offhandedness and the fact that you're just quick to move on to another joke where I get followed in stores and I have someone online literally who's been stalking and threatening and harassing me just because I have dwarfism. He calls it Midget Wednesday. And I just don't what think you would want to be associated with no, that. No, I don't. I'm going to let that exactly. one go. Jimmy, this is an iconic conversation then, you realize. <laughs> well, I'm not ever going to do a little people's joke again. We're going to knock that off the dock. We're letting it go after listening to you. Can you look at me without your sunglasses and give that to me in the camera? We're swearing off little people jokes. <laughs> oh, you even got you the term right. You weren't to do it that easy. <laughs> I have a zillion other jokes. I can take the little people jokes out. We appreciate, you know, your, your perspective, Aubrey. It's been very informative and enlightening, and I hope it's resonating. Like, I love talking and arguing. It's If I ever came across a certain way, please don't think. You are not offensive in the way that you talk about little people that I hear every single day. So it's not about being offended at all. It was like, harmful intended. I just do comedy. I, I love it. And again, I'm a comedian, guys. Like, you don't know my humor, too. So you don't know. I could be just as... But you can no, make fun I, of a Jew. I'm right here. Just don't shoot me. <laughs> we don't even make Two Jews. Two there. Jews and <laughs> planting a fire. Two Jews walk into a bar. Other, there's lots of other content out there, and that's what I would just like to say as my final Well, thank and you. Please, Thanks. Please, thank you, please, Aubrey. Jimmy, please look up DearAverageTypePeople.com, making a documented comedy special about that disability hate group because YouTube just doesn't care enough to protect small creators. So it's DearAverageTypePeople.com, and we're raising money right now to finish the film. Jimmy, you would love this. It's a comedy special, Jimmy. We're making fun of ourselves. We're making fun of everybody. The point is to bridge the gap between people like you and people like me. I want to say one thing. Me and Guy are going to say it together. We love you. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Thank you, guys. Aubrey, yes. thank you. Okay. It was thank great. You so much, Aubrey. Thank you. So Take much, care. Aubrey. Good luck. Whoa, that, that went thank better you. than I thought. I mean, Jimmy basically, well, I think, okay, there was a lot of finessing. <laughs> There's a lot. You actually finessed that to making it look like Jimmy learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bumpy conversation, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of back, back and forth. I had to cut a lot for the sake of brevity, but it'll be in the final um, cut there. But that was nice. But ultimately, in the end, actually, there was some progress with uh, Jimmy there swearing off little people jokes, even using the correct term there. You got that. You got to see his reaction at the end, though, after they. All uh, right, uh, here we go. Let's see. Beard purged. Why'd you do it? Oh, that's not what I wanted. You too, guys. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Oh. Now, I think I need to take my Metamucil. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker, you need to take your Metamucil. Am I allowed to use the toilet before we go to our next segment? Sure, yes. I might throw up. Oh, don't. Yeah, then definitely <laughs> go in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, it's stressful for poor, poor old Jimmy. He's going to shit and puke. <laughs>
I guess you did a pretty, you did a generous job of cutting that together there, Cam. So well, I don't know. Like I don't said, know. the final cut has the full context and everything, so. Cam Grant, say what's up, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was some excellent editing, I must say, Cam. It yeah, was a... Shout out to Cameron, who basically conversation, yeah. did the impossible. Yeah. Thank you. All right, well, let's do a poll then and see. Uh, I think, I think I was expecting worse. I think maybe, uh... This didn't hurt. Uh oh, this was Jimmy two days ago. Oh no, no, he did this two days ago. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This so we put we had he had this conversation last week. So this was a few days after the intervention, and he posted, "I hate them midgets." Jimmy, what the fuck? We almost had another redemption arc. I hate them midgets, man. Oh, shit. All right, well, just to give you guys context. He has not learned his lesson. And after the poll, we actually have Audrey on the call to do a little bit of a debriefing. All right, well, we have Aubrey on the phone. We do. Uh, thank you. So that we'll just say hi to Aubrey. Thank him for his time. And uh, I'm bringing out a man right now. Honor him. For going into a pit of vipers. Right. Okay. Oh, hello. Is this live already? It sure is. Hi. We'll go live. You know. Hi, Aubrey. Well, first of all, thank you so much for uh, taking on the uh, the the uh, un unfathomable task of trying to uh, give sensitivity training to Jimmy Lee and my dad. No, of course. It's honestly, anytime that people are willing to have a conversation, um, it's so important to have a conversation. And I'm honestly like shocked that you guys, you know, allowed that to happen in the first place because, you know, just like dwarfism representation, it's just really, really hard to not be taken as a joke. Um, and I was really excited that the Reddit, you know, community and my fellow foot soldiers were there yeah, <laughs> wanting to have that conversation. And me and my producer were just scrolling through the comments. And I was, I think there's almost like 200 comments on that thread of me just going back and forth with people asking questions. People were like, oh, I know a person with dwarfism that I really miss that I grew up mm -hmm. with. Oh, I, you know, love what you're doing because I don't like how people with dwarfism are represented on screen. Um, so when, <laughs> with the Jimmy and Gary thing, I'm like, this is, trust me, in comparison to actual like people on the internet who hate me right now and they're like actively doing everything they can to exploit people with dwarfism, this was like the easiest thing. That okay, I wow. But was, <laughs> what, what was actually the most interesting is that uh, you actually seem to break through to Jimmy Lee. <laughs> Although, well, that's questionable because Two days later, he yeah. did write, I fucking hate midgets in his well, description. And apologies for using that word just to uh, to to re retell his what he wrote. Listen, in the full version, I even I, I got caught slipping, too. I was like midget this midget that because it, it it's not I want to move past the word as the most interesting things that people with dwarfism can offer, you know, mm -hmm. and that was what I was ultimately trying to get across to Jimmy. I was like, when you use this, this yeah. word, buddy, and he even made a joke. He was like, oh, I have a few jokes because I was like, let's go through some jokes. We can workshop it. And he was like, oh, you're something black and you can't i bet you won't be playing basketball and i'm like there's literally <laughs> people with dwarfism who they're not no playing with lebron james but they're traveling around the world being paid thousands of dollars every week to be the global uh globe trotters his name's manny he's an incredible incredible person and i know that in those moments i was like with jimmy i was like we're gonna get to the bottom of this because he's not manny's not sweating his ass off people aren't sweating their ass off with dwarfism, dwarfism on broadway musicians, teachers, in law, doctors, nurses, they're not doing all this work for us to just be like, ha, 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 midgets, ha, 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 midgets. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, so, that's what my movie is about, basically. It's just about, like, highlighting that in a new, fun way that's, like, entertaining to watch. Let me ask you this. You mentioned that there's people that, like, stalk you. Like, you said that, you know... Jimmy, I mean, even literally today, like earlier today, I went to this. They have a YouTube channel that's been running for years What's... that is monetized. What? And What's the yeah. name? Should I? Can I ask the name of it, or do you rather not say? 
I what I, I would love, trust me, nothing I would love better because all it's going to take is just more than me and 10 other people I know reporting his account because YouTube's reporting system does not work. Yeah, it's, he, just about, yeah he, it's just about quantity. Quantity. But he's literally using, I used to post videos on YouTube as like, a way of showing what it's like to be a dwarf, like what a day in the life of a little person, comedy videos in that sense, right? Not taking anything seriously. And he would play these videos as a part of Midget Wednesdays with his thousands of followers. And all he does is literally just say, oh, if we don't fetishize you, we're just going to start getting rid of people like you. Oh my or God. saying That's insane. stuff like literally called me the N word two days ago on YouTube and they're making money. But no, what I would rather if truly Ethan is, I would love if you could like, assist because i just need someone at youtube who i can send the links the uh, you know all the backup accounts all of that stuff that i've had to compile over the years because mm -hmm. i've never said anything to this person mm -hmm. and i would love for someone at youtube a person to just be like oh click 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 <laughs> but it will be justified because you can't it's literally i in can yeah US. i mean i can like, i can write an email intro and then you can mm -hmm. just explain kind of whatever you want to say but uh, I think it, it, in terms of that, I, I just kind of got over that. Wait, is his fast. name, is the guy, is the channel's name uh, Keemstar or Drama Alert? It, he's, he, you, you're going to laugh oh, when you okay. see him. I'll, I'll send him to you, you're going to laugh, because I call so him it like is. Keemstar. <laughs> oh, you did? No. Oh, okay, just making <laughs> no. sure, just confirming. <laughs> no, 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 just no, to, no, no. I just wanted to confirm. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll I'll set you up an email. I am best friends with Susan, of course, so there's no problem <laughs> here. Susan. Yeah, and no problem. This is going to be the test if Susan like little people. Mm -hmm. Does YouTube actually like little people? Just kidding. But, who <laughs> but, is, no. but you said he harasses you in real life and stuff like that? No, no. So, oh. But people have, uh, in, in this journey, I found videos of him reacting to other people who have uploaded videos of me in public. And he's reacting to it because he just scours anything on YouTube that has the word dwarf, little person or midget in it. And what? I've literally been watching him react to a video of me and my producer filming a movie about disability awareness and about the hyper, you know, fixation on dwarfism. And he's literally proven my points for the points of this film that That's... there is an issue here because in him harassing a dwarf, he is reacting to someone else harassing me. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, yes, it's been kind of, but that's what this whole movie is about. It's like the inception of that. Like just imagine for a second how wild that is. And I just wanted to turn that into something that like everyone can relate to. Everyone can get something positive out of because it's been a tough two years for everybody, you know? So so the website again is Dear Normal Size P or what is it? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I just want to, maybe you better say it. Dear Ethan. No. <laughs> Dear Ethan dot com. Oh, dear .com. <laughs> um uh, no it's dear average height people oh, .com. Average we are in height. the average. last weeks of our fundraiser um we just really I, I was shooting some early this year and i'm sure you know like it, it's just expensive you know shooting oh yeah some. definitely and i'm at a point where i'm an actor and i've been at studios auditioning for stuff and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i know other little people as well and there's no studio is going to take a risk on people yeah, with dorms right yeah, now. Yeah. So considering the community and people actually seem like, like the viewers want it, I was like, let's fundraise. Let's see what we can do. Um, and again, you are the real G for having a person with dwarfism on H3. That's iconic. Oh, well, well, you're That's the iconic. real G. And thank you for kind of coming <laughs> on. And I apologize <laughs> for Jamie and my dad. But honestly, you handed it well and you broke through to them. So shout out. I love shout your dad. The too. Fuck I, out. I love your dad. I was okay. there through the whole frenemies. Good, good. Okay. Families, Thank you. You're very gracious. I'm wearing the teddy. Fresh. I noticed that. You look great. I, lo I love that shirt, by the way, too. It's That's one of my favorites. This one was made for for people with dwarfism. So I think this was coming. You have a lot of people with dwarfism on your side, Ethan. Okay. Shout out, dude. Shout out to the dwarfism. Oh, yeah. Love that. <laughs> and love shout out that. to all the Redditors, too. You guys are like... Yeah, the people are... Know. Sometimes the people in this community are really nice, and, and uh, I love that, you know, sometimes. But, but yeah, but like on the subreddit, like you pointed out, I mean, the post had 3,000 points, and everyone's just super nice and supportive, and that's nice. That's a beautiful thing. But, um, Aubrey, I'm going to put the link uh, to your website in the description. Um... I Even. want to thank you so much for calling in and being a total uh, sweetheart 
and uh, represent. Wait, Ethan, do you have any questions about dwarfism, real quick? Uh, I'm just surprised. Anything that you... I'm just so surprised. Like, why did I just so surprised to hear that? Like, who's walking around hating dwarfs? That's just psychotic. It's just crazy. Like, what? what, what I don't even understand the root of that. You know what I mean? As someone too with dwarfism, like I, I, I struggle, and I think that's why I'm okay with it because I'm like, what, like legs like what, what part of the bottom of the barrel do you have to be in your life to like really think it would be funny to follow someone around just doing something normal and then film them like what and then say derogatory things on top of it upload it to accounts dedicated just to stuff like that it's, like it's crazy man it's giving bottom shelf so yeah 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 the onwards and upwards representation is going to help this guys representation will help this all right thank you buddy aubrey legend thank you so much thanks for calling all right you take care thanks aubrey god bless you thank you aubrey by the way